Hey, Teach. What? Check me out. Oh, wait, hold on. Check me out, bro. All right, so I just got to the office, hold on, hold on, and hold on. wait, before even, whoa, for whoa, you. Whoa, 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 Before talking about you, let's talk about me. What? Let's talk about me for hold a on, second. Hold on, no, I got a fresh cut. Like, look at my hair. I'm looking at it, but we're early in the vlog. Hey, I just want to oh, remind you that. this. No, don't, don't look at it. Don't look at that. Look at that. Whoa, don't look at that. Whoa, coming up good, bro. Look at that. Bro. This Saturday and Sunday, we're having our blue and Kona t-shirts. Oh! DC shirts that are available for pre-order. Saturday and Sunday, the moment it hits Saturday at like 1 a.m. or whatever it is, so the end of Sunday, these are available for pre-order. That means they're gonna be made to order, so if you don't order it over this weekend, it's never coming back, and then expect your order to come in two or three weeks, because we are making them to order. Links will be down below. I'm gonna remind you guys till this weekend, they're gonna be available very soon. You didn't wanna wait till you got a haircut first before you said that? Yeah, you so. Look, you look dumb. Our girls here cut our you hair. You look dumb. Can, give me the cut. Hey. Shouldn't you be at work right now? No, oh, stop, don't. Shouldn't you be at work? Shouldn't, what is it, is, hey. it, is it a Wednesday? Yes. Wait, are you going with it's this? Wednesday, are you going with this gray dude. or are you going with this one? No, we went. We had a few samples that were made. Uh, we ended up going with this color. This color is supposed to be like a vintage washed style. Mm. I like this color a lot more. This one's a little too grayish. This one looks more like a vintage wash. So we're super, super stoked on it. Saturday and Sunday, baby. That's it. You have two days to make it happen. The most limited shirt that'll ever be made. Um, maybe. Probably not. Kind of. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. The most limited you guys have ever seen, ever. There we so, go. All right. Thank you for the sales, Kev. All right. Before our day gets started, we are doing a Hot Wheels rehearsal for the Hot Wheels promotion we were talking about. Ev, what are we doing? Wow. Tell, tell the people what, what we're doing. What are we doing? doing? Wow. Yeah, You're what? a judge. You and Mickey are judges for the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. This Thursday, 5 p.m. That's the day this video goes live, so. Oh, it's tonight then. So real? We'll see you on there. What do you mean? It's going to go on bef up before 5, yeah? Yeah, it's going to live at 2.30. So in two and a half hours. Yes. There's a live stream. You're a judge. I'll be there. Whoever submitted their car to potentially become one of these, like a real oh, car. Okay. The 20 cars that are selected, yeah. like the pre-selection, are epic. Sick. There's this ridiculous RX-7 in there. It's wow, funny. Mickey, don't just... Yeah, you're sometime. already... You can't <laughs> tell him you've already picked a winner. I haven't it. picked a winner. Well, wow, sounds like someone a picked a winner. ridiculous RX-7 in there with an ab flow kit on it. Oh, yeah, I forgot you hate RX-7, so you're not going to pick that. Yeah, they're stupid. <laughs> yeah, didn't you sell your RX-7? Oh, funny joke. Yeah, Actually, not, yeah, I'm about to. I'm not the guy trying to sell my RX-7, so... <laughs> All right, yeah. cut the clip, cut the clip. All right, I'm gonna be at this dress rehearsal for the next 30 minutes or so. We just jumped in on the Zoom meeting. It's actually kind of cool because I feel like I'm in school, like I'm like in lecture hall with Mick, but Mick's like a, a, a guy joining in, like he's an adult who didn't finish school, so I'm now like, he's in sitting yo, in class. I'm a professor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in a bit. That Zoom meeting went for a pretty long time, but I also want to update you guys because I didn't know this, but Alicia just told me that this weekend when we dropped the doggy shirts, are we calling it anything? Calling it the doggy shirts. When, when we dropped the blue and Kona shirts, we actually have a small restock of the last drop from the summer collection. So if there's anything you didn't get, we're gonna have our restock, which is like our overflow numbers. So very limited, very small numbers of all the stuff that was originally once there. So if you are on top of it, you guys can snag up any items that you previously missed. I'm gonna interrupt today's video to show you guys a little fashion tip that you guys need to get onto. I have been working with a company called Movement Watches for almost five years now. Now back when I first started with Movement, they only used to do watches, but they've expanded into tons of things from men's jewelry to women's jewelry to men's eyewear to sunglasses. I have a different watch for every different occasion I could possibly ever want. I got my casual watches. I got my dress up watches. I got watches for every color that I would ever possibly want to match it to. I even have a few rings that I'll wear when I go out. I got my blue tint glasses to help protect my eyes while I'm gaming. And as I said, there's not only men stuff, but there's also female stuff on their website. And if you guys use code TJ Hunt, you can save up to 15% off of everything on their website. I always have their link with my code in my description, but right now at the top of my description, I have a link directly to their website, which you guys can browse for fun, or if you're in need for anything, you can click that link and automatically save 15% off with code TJ Hunt. Thank you so much for Movement for supporting us. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, we're here again getting another mobile haircut. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. It's super awesome and it's the best thing ever. Everyone's beginning the haircut today, so I'm like fifth on the list, so time to get our hairs cut. Thank <laughs> you. 
fresh cut, looking good. It's always nice to have a little mobile barber come to the shop. Tyler's with me and we are actually about to go pick up the R8 wheels. Now these were the eight trees that I picked up last week. Gave you guys a sneak peek, but today, obviously by the title of this video, you are gonna get the full reveal on the wheels. So we actually special ordered Michelin Cup 2 tires because we're gonna want all the traction we can possibly get for this build, but you'll find out more about that later. But we just dropped off the old wheels on the car to swap over the TBMS sensors onto the new ones and then strap the new rubber onto these wheels. Now I get a lot of comments that I like teach, you have a tire machine, why don't you do your own wheels and tires? Well, the honest truth is I'm not the best at doing it. And when it comes to doing the HRE wheels and they have lips on them that I do not want to get damaged by our tire machine, I usually take them to a normal tire place that has machines that can specialize in not damaging the lips. So although yes, I could do it myself, I'd rather pay someone else to not risk anything of me damaging my own wheel, if that makes sense. So we're about two minutes out and you guys can finally see the HREs we ordered. Remember what the official color of this is called? What? Rush Bronze Mickey said, and he used to work for HRE, so he has some uh, credit. They're brushed bronze transparent. Tyler, what are your thoughts on these wheels, Ty? Uh, they're dope and they're huge. They're dope and yeah, they are huge. So we're running a 325 in the rear and a 265 up front. So the reason the reason why I went with the Cup 2 as opposed to the PS4 is tires, these are more track inspired. These are the wheels that come stock on a GT3 RS when you get them from the factory. They have about half the life expectancy as PS4 is tires, but as far as ultimate grip, these are the ones to go for. So we pulled the trigger on them. All right, we're gonna throw these on, see how they look. I've been looking forward to this day since we bought this car. So I just got off the phone. Well, shout out to Mickey because Mickey just pulled the big granddad moves, the, the epic proud dad, I know everything type of thing in a non-egotistical way. But he came over and he looked at it, it immediately. And like I said, Mickey used to work for HRE, so Mickey knows wheel things like very, very well. He looked at it and he's like, that's not gonna work. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, the OD is way too different. I don't know if you can kind of see. The fronts are pretty, are pretty thin wall, the rears are pretty big. Well, I don't have too much experience with all-wheel drive cars, and uh, it shows right now. The ODs are not correct, so we're gonna overheat the center diff. So the fronts will be rotating quicker than the rears will, and they won't be equal, and that will overheat the center diff, and that's a $35,000 diff, and it will happen like immediately. So I called, um, I was gonna say I called Sheepy, but just kidding, I didn't call Sheepy. But I called my other friends who, they're like, we don't even recommend you running 20, 21s. You need to be running 19, 20, period. Like you can't run. Long story short, what I'm telling you is these tires that I just bought are incorrect. That was my bad. I screwed up on the tire sizes. But what I think I can do is I can actually order a 245, 35, 20 for the meantime, so we can correct the ODs. We can at least fix this. And then when we go more power down the line, I need to order a whole new set of wheels. A whole, like I just, I just kind of put all this together and like went through the thought process five minutes ago on the phone. These wheels are limited now. Until we decide to go more power, whatever kind of power that is, we're gonna have to change these wheels. And now I need to order new fronts. And they even said, don't even drive this car. But like if you have to drive it around the shop, like to move it, fine, but you don't even drive this car down the street like this until you fix the tire sizes. And I was gonna take the car out right now and I was gonna get a picture of it out there, but I don't even want to because they really recommended me not. So I screwed myself and sometimes that happens and it happened to me right now. I'm a little upset, but we can order new tires. So if anyone's looking for 245, 30, 20, 20 cup, two Michelins, you can buy them from me. I'll have them here. Big rip, but they look epic. <laughs> they look great. They're like the perfect 
with like it looks phenomenal like absolutely hre spec the fitment is 10 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> but i can't run them or i can't drive on them so i'm sad well mick couldn't i just rather than changing the rear could i just change the fronts to a 245 35 20 because right now it's a 30. wouldn't that even it out they do make it <laughs> they make That has to be within like something stupid like 0.03%. Tell him I screwed up, Nick. Tell him I screwed up. My man up. Shout out to Nicky though. Because if but Nikki, he's got friends that know things and we saved him. If Nicky wasn't here. And for whatever reason I would have driven this. Oh. Would have like. Been screwed. Dude. We've been crying. Pog and chat for Mickey because he just. That was all him. He, he caught that. I didn't know that. I'm an idiot. Well. I played myself. I feel a little foolish, I cannot lie, but that's just the honest truth. Sometimes you screw up, today I screwed up. But I was just doing some math online, rechecking the ODs, and I can actually order a different front tire um, that they have in stock, so we can change the front tires out to make it a little bit thicker to even out the OD. We're gonna change it to a 265-30-20 um, rather than a 245, and that should even out the OD, so we should be okay. Oh, good job, Teed, you're an idiot. But now we're driving home a 600LT Spider, and it's the perfect overcast weather out, and it feels great, and I'm gonna enjoy myself. watching the video know how to make outros or I've made outros for other people in the past and you want to make me an outro if you do it and email it to me and make something similar to this I used to use this when I used to put suggested videos in here but now I don't do that anymore so if someone can make something like this that has a Hunco logo has all my socials and also has like the Hunt Company website listed on here and makes like built the whole entire screen it has music on it that isn't copyrighted I'll use it in the vlog so email them to me at my email you can find it if you look hard enough pretty late right now. I forgot to end my video tonight. I apologize, boys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow at 2.30, because if you haven't heard, we are daily uploading, which means you can come back to the channel every day at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time to see a new video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and leave a like on the video so I know that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, and keep moving forward.